हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट फिशर इन एनो व्हाट इज फिशर इन एनो वेयर इज इट लोकेटेड फिशर इज नथिंग बट ए ब्रेक इन द और ए स्प्लिट इन द टिश्यूज ओके सो फिशर इन एनो इज लोकेटेड एट डेंटेट लाइन यूजली इट इज लोकेटेड ऑलमोस्ट टू सेंटीमीटर्स बिलो द एनल वर्ज इट इज लोकेटेड टू सेंटीमीटर्स बिलो द एनल वर्ज सो वॉट इज फिस्टुला यू विल सी दैट देर विल बी ए इन फिस्टुला इन एनो देर विल बी ए लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्प्लिट इज प्रेजेंट इन द एनोडल देर इज लॉन्गिशनल स्प्लिट इन द एनोडल फ्रॉम एनल वर्ज टू डेंटेट लाइन देर इज ए लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्प्लिट इन द एनल Turn from anal verge to dentate line. So, what is it located? What are the location? Location is it is present in posterior midline at six o'clock position. It is present in posterior midline at six o'clock position. So, these fissures are of two types. We have acute fissures and we also have chronic fissures. There are acute fissures and chronic fissures. actually what do you see in chronic fissure chronic fissure there is a triad which is present in chronic fissure that is there will be an ulcer because of the fissure that will form ulcer which is cono shaped cano shaped ulcers will be present and there will be presence of sentinel pile which is also called has there will be sentinel pile or skin tag will be there and you will also see there will be hypertrophy pap in there will be there so here you will see cano shaped ulcers sentinel pile or skin tag and there will be hypertrophied papilla will be seen so this is seen in chronic fissure in ano now if you see pathology why why does this fissure in ano occur now it can occur the fissure on longitudinal split in the anal canal can occur due to the spasm of internal anal sphincter okay this also occurs in patients with constipation or if the patient undergoes excessive straining at the time of defecation excessive straining at the time of defecation when there is excessive straining at the time of defecation then the fecal matter can pass through the internal anal sphincter and this fecal matter passing through the internal anal sphincter will cause injury to the uh, in the anal mucosa passing through internal anal sphincter this will cause or this will injure the anal mucosa causing the fissure in ano okay now whenever there is a tear or split in anoderm that is anal mucosa this will decrease the vascularity of that area and why because of ischemia this is due to ischemia there is decreased vascularity due to ischemia and thus there will be healing of tear decreases or slow so this is about the pathophysiology now if you see the clinical features if you see clinical features the patient presents with severe pain during defecation the patient will have severe pain during defecation then there will be sometimes streaking of blood over of blood over the stool will also be seen sometimes so one important thing is in fis fissure in ano whenever the patient will have fissure in ano the digital rectal examination is contraindicated examination is contraindicated then how do you confirm it you will have to just examine the gluteal region examine the gluteal region and if you find 
a longitudinal split and if you find a longitudinal split in the midline if you find a longitudinal split in the posterior midline then it is you can confirm it has fissure in ano then how are you going to treat this condition the treatment is first you should do initial management is conservative management in the initial conservative treatment you should you should you can use sits bath can be used then you can also use a stool softener okay this is initial conservative management then if you see you can also do medical treatment in the medical treatment you can give calcium channel blockers can be given which is 2% diltiazem gel can be used in local application 2% diltiazem gel can be used in local application then we can also use nitrates in the nitrates we can use 0.2% nitro glycerin can be used then we have we can also use botox injections can also be put into the sphincter you can also put botox injections into the sphincter then you can also use large procedure large procedure can be done in large procedure there occurs manual dilatation of the sphincter will occur manual dilatation of the sphincter can occur in large procedure then if you see the treatment of choice is notaras lateral sphincterotomy we will we can do notaras lateral sphincterotomy in this notaras lateral sphincter sphincterotomy we will divide the internal sphincter and anal sphincter laterally so we will divide the internal anal sphincter is divided laterally okay then we can also give anal advancement flap can be done so all these are the medical treatment of fistula in ano so sorry fissure in ano these are the medical treatment of fissure in ano so thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching